Okay, this is Marie's kitchen and I am already having fun and I'm here at Harmony Hands Farm with Spencer. Spencer, hi. How's it going? Marie? I'm doing great and, and since we started, we have, we have kind of little guests around here. We do. Yeah, can you explain to us what, uh, where we are yeah. and what you're doing here? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, once again, my name is Spencer. Um, we have about 2,400 chickens out here. <laughs> one on top of me, one in my arms. These are uh, certified organic there you go. egg laying chickens. And yeah, we're located just about 30 minutes south of uh, the city of Twin Falls, Idaho. How many chickens do we have here in this in this farm? So on the, the total farm, just under 3,000 chickens. 3, out here on pasture uh, on this hot day, <laughs> yes. we have about 20, 2,400 chickens. Spencer, can yep. you tell me which kind of breed those chickens are? Yep, we have uh, the specific breed name is Novogen Brown. Novogen it's, uh, Brown. What people would typically know is a, a cross between the Rhode Island Red variety and like a white leghorn. So pretty much a mix between a really good high egg producing bird on top of a bird that's really good in the pasture. Mm, nice, great. Nice hardy bird. Yep. And talking about pasture, you are completely organic, 100%. We are, yep, 100% yes. certified organic by the USDA and uh, Oregon Till. Mm. That's our agency. Yeah. Now what I would like to know also and our viewers probably uh, how and when did you start? Yeah a little bit of our background is um, we're, we're the third generation in this valley that has uh, like been that. in the agrarian life and so we my family started um, pretty much just with the, the typical farmland and then eventually in the 70s 80s moved into the dairy world um, and from that my my parents my father was actually the one that got into organic dairy and that was in the early 2000s um, that's when we started this dairy and that process began so like you mentioned we have a couple organic dairies and then uh, back in 2018 is when we started Harmony Hens. Let me ask you also how many eggs a week or a day do you produce? Because that's a big question. That's the 2400 yes. hens. Um, probably by the week, I could I could divide it out. Um, we do about 12,000 to 15,000 eggs a week. And where can we find your eggs? Yeah, absolutely. So our eggs can be found uh, in retail cartons that you can buy for your home in all three Atkinsons, Bellevue, Haley, as well as Ketchum. Um, we're working to get into Albertsons as well as a natural grocer. Um, and then some awesome little restaurants that also do retail with our eggs would be Mason Family Provisions, um, Cafe, Cafe Della, Della, yes, and then Nourish Me also does an excellent job with our eggs. The package, does it, the package say Harmony? Hens Farm? It does, yep, yep. Okay. Right right on the front label and in big bold font says Harmony Harmony Hens. How did you come up with the name Harmony? Yes. Harmony Hens. I Harmony like it. Hens. It sounds good. Absolutely. I'm a sucker for alliterations. Um, I do like Harmony Hens in that way. But the core of what Harmony means for us is uh, simply being in harmony with nature. And so that, you know, a lot of people can say that. And, and even express that in their brands, but to actually be right now as we are out in the pasture mm -hmm. where the hens are, you can see how they're raised. Yes. This is the true environment where birds are. You yes, know? aren't you happy so here? Yes, you are. It's harmony with the hens and harmony with humans. That's yeah. wonderful. And then can you explain a little bit what those um, shelter for yeah. your chickens are? Yeah, absolutely. And so, how they work? Yes. There's a, a lot to explain here, but to keep it simple, yes. these are the they're mobile chicken coops is what we call them. Um, and just because chicken coops is a, you know, a, a term that usually everybody knows, a lot of people might have grown up with chickens and they had a yep. chicken coop in their backyard. Um, this is just an enlarged version of it. Um, and what that essentially means is that by the organic standards that we follow as well as certified animal humane standards um, just making sure the chickens are living the best life we've built these coops um, wherein we can hold a certain amount of chickens that is safe for the chickens allows them to live a good life and um, really the 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 cool part about these chicken coops is that they are mobile 
and so it's pretty much on a trailer chassis and being out on the pasture we don't want the chickens to stay in one place for too long because they'll eat all the bugs and all the grass and so we like to make sure they have a fresh salad bar every day wow those are really lucky chicken per se yes spencer thank you so much for explaining the origin of your eggs that we can i probably bought some of your eggs because i buy only organic eggs Excellent. and now uh, i cannot wait to have you in my kitchen because yes. we are gonna cook two of your recipe your favorite recipe and it's a surprise you're gonna surprise, surprise me so yes. you're gonna be the chef i'm gonna be your sous chef absolutely uh, let's go in my kitchen spencer look forward to it all right when life calls for necessary add-ons your home can pitch in to help with a new home equity line of credit from d11's bank this is living on a whole new level this is community banking Better food, better price, better service. Atkinson's Market, supporting local farmers since 1956. I moved out to Idaho four years ago. So I met a lot of people and, and I really, really like it here. You know, if you don't have something like that that brings you into other people's lives, it takes a long time to get to know people. And here we are in my kitchen with Spencer Mallet from Harmony Hens Farm. And um, we refresh a little bit, huh, Hans? It's, it's a little bit cooler in here. <laughs> yes, it is Goodness indeed. And, and less noisy too. Yes, it's yes. It's quiet. Quiet. And, um, okay, what are we gonna prepare? I mean, what are you gonna prepare? I will be your sous chef. Yes. And uh, I think you call this recipe? Wood River Aeoli. And why do you call it Wood River Aioli? The reason we're calling it Wood River Aioli today is because of the ingredients that we're using. Okay. Um, the first local ingredient that we're going to be using to spice it up a little bit is the powerhouse uh, salsa verde, followed by raspberries, Sean Racha, and then Mason Family Provisions. They have a wonderful olive oil that they've sourced. And then they also have a truffle salt that we're going to be using. Okay. Um, and then we have Harmony Hens local eggs for us. And this little black pepper salt yes. comes from also a local store. It does. It does. You can find the uh, Jacobson black pepper salt at uh, Cafe Della. Cafe Della, then I yep. like very much. Yes. And of course, we have your beautiful eggs, and I was able to pick a little bit earlier. Yes. And uh, and the beautiful box, by the way. Thank I you. didn't see the box Thank you. Uh, earlier. Absolutely. So we're going to use four eggs because we're doubling the recipe. Yes, yes. The, the typical recipe only takes about two um, egg yolks, but we're going to double it just so we have a little bit for gonna later. Do four, okay. Yep. You go, chef. Excellent. And then I will help you when you tell me. Yes. Okay. So cracking eggs, little, uh -oh. little, little egg tip. Um, a lot of people think about cracking <laughs> eggs on an edge, but what happens is sometimes the, uh, the egg itself gets forced into it. And so we like to crack the egg either with another egg or just on a flat surface. So we're going to do that. And you're going to separate yep. the yolk yep. with the white. Okay. Because we're going to only use the yolk. We're only using the yolk. Correct. Yeah. All right. There is one of them. Simple as that. Yep. And you can leave them there. We'll trash yeah. later. Look at this orange color. This yes. is amazing. They're great. There we so go. so much fun to pick them up. Separating. Mm, very nice. Some of these eggs are a bit more of a medium size. All right, there we go. There you go. Perfect. Right. So okay. we're gonna use uh, an emulsion blender, hand blender, just mm -hmm. like this. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna include all of our yolks mm -hmm. uh, just right into this container. I'm gonna slide them to the bottom. Okay. Grab that, thank yes, you. Yes, you're welcome. And then next what we're going to include is about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Uh, followed with another two tablespoons, maybe uh, two or three cloves of garlic. Garlic, minced. Minced, yep. And you can also use, if you don't have fresh garlic, you can use the minced garlic that you can. we find in yep. the grocery yep. store. Okay. Absolutely. And then we're just going to do a pinch of this truffle salt. Okay. Uh, to taste. Just a nice coat on top. 
All right. And then, so while I'm blending, um, I'm going to have you pour in the olive oil. Olive oil. Okay, sounds Just good. Just lightly on the side. Can you tell me when you're ready? Yep. Okay. Ready to go. Yes, sir. That should be good right there. A little more. It's getting there. We don't talk much because it was pretty. It was noisy. a little loud. Yep. That looks really good though. Absolutely. So yeah, now. Yeah, because now we need to yep. add. Um, We're actually going to combine the uh, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yep. Okay. So we do need this. Again. Do 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 we want all of it so the viewers can see? We're gonna yep. put what one? Yep. We'll put two. One. We're actually, yeah, we're going to use that whole bowl. Okay, two, Let's that go. means three, three and a little, three, three and a little, little extra. Yeah. Yep. Three and a little extra tablespoons yes. of some lemon. Now we're going to have a different color. We are going to spice it up a little bit. Yep. Season it. So we're going to put a little bit of black pepper in there. Okay. So let's just do a. A little pinch. Two pinches of black pepper. It's going to be a hot aioli. It's going to be a spicy aioli. Yeah, I think so. And then, yes, we're going to do the uh, black pepper salt. Salt, yes. A healthy pinch of that. Yep. And then to spice it up a bit. <laughs> what? We're gonna More do, spice. Ali! We're going to do a dash Ali up! Of the, uh, we say in French, Ali up! Ali Let's up. do it. <laughs> yes. We're going to do raspberry chandracha. Okay. Just a dash of that. Oh my gosh, it's going to be spicy. <laughs> It'll combine in well. I like spicy. This is yes. going to be spicy. This is I cannot be spicy. wait. All right. Mm -hmm. And then a dash of Powerhouse's Salsa Verde. There we go. Get that nice chili fire. fire. Okay. All right. So let's combine that as well. Yes. And have a here, here, chef. Oh, it's actually really, really good. See, what happens is we think we're putting in a lot of spice. We are to an extent. Yeah. But the eggs no, no, and the no. olive oil mm -hmm. really tone Cut it down. It. Yeah, and the texture oh of it. Oh my gosh. So now we are going to cook the eggs. Yep, so and we're going to set that aside. We're going to set that aside. Yes. And uh, we are going to clean up this area. Yes. And we will be right back with the next recipe. Yep. When life calls for necessary add-ons, your home can pitch in to help with a new home equity line of credit from D11's bank. This is living on a whole new level. This is community banking. Let the event dazzle your guests by creating a sensational experience. Let the event take your party over the top. All right, Spencer, now we are cooking. Gordon Ramsay scrambled eggs. All right, let's yeah. do it. Very good. So, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to use about six uh, full eggs. We're going to do two jumbo eggs, not necessary, but just for show. We're showing off our beautiful big eggs that are our hens lay. I think if I had those kind of eggs, I will show them off yes, too. Yes, absolutely. So just to start, we're going to do um, these six eggs with about, let's say about two or three tablespoons of butter, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little bit extra. So what we'll start to do is uh, let's put the eggs in first before we turn on the heat to the pan. So you put the eggs first, no butter, no heat. You're just going to put the eggs. Yep. Eggs first. Okay. The butter um, will combine in well when we're whisking it together. Look at those eggs. Aren't they fabulous? The color and everything. Yep. Oh, we'll talk about that later too. Absolutely. I'm amazed. Of, they're really gorgeous. And that's the, the beautiful thing about these eggs is not only does the shell show off, you know, what we're, what we're passionate about at Harmony Hens, which is, you know, taking care of the birds to uh, the, the best level that we can. Um, but it really shows off the uniqueness of each egg. Even, yeah. even these eggs, as vibrant as they are, they're all different hues of yellows and oranges so isn't it beautiful i mean incredible. it shows after what we did earlier uh, your your hands are happy yes oh yeah i can tell yes. i can tell 
No question. They were. So we're going to put the, the pan on high heat. High heat, yep. okay. And then as soon as we got that high heat set and going, I'm going to start combining it. Okay. Um, so one thing to mention, we're actually, people typically will whisk their eggs outside of the skillet. We're not going to do that today. Um, in combining the eggs with this butter, as it begins to heat up, that's what we are looking for. Is just to combine the nice dairy, the uh, the fats of that with the eggs. And another thing to mention is uh, the viewer saw we didn't um, season the eggs as they went in. And the right. reason we do that is because it uh, the salt and the seasoning actually works on breaking down the eggs. And so we're trying to keep the eggs as pure and well done as we can. So what I'm doing right now is I took the eggs off the heat because the pan maintains maintains a heat, good level. So it's been off for about 30 seconds. We're gonna put it right back on. A lot of people like eggs for the morning, but I actually like eggs for lunch. You know what? Uh, I nice even egg like eggs for dinner. There we go. So yeah. now we got some good heat going uh, in the pan. So I took it off the heat again. Yes. And we're continuing to stir the eggs. Um, the eggs are continuing to cook right here. So a little bit like a risotto, but with yep. eggs. Yep, <laughs> just like a risotto, yep, with yep. eggs. In fact, you very well could uh, add this to some rice and that would be incredible. Yeah, the spicy aioli is going to be incredible. Mm -hmm. All right. We're getting close to finish. And how I can tell that is one by the, the actual heat of the pan and the eggs. I can see the steam coming off of them. Okay. But you'll begin to see, just like a typical scrambled egg, within this mixture as I'm mixing will uh, coagulate pretty much turn into the scramble eggs that we know. So I'm going to keep mixing. And there you go. Put it back on the heat. <laughs> if I have it for several meals, I might go through a dozen a day. Whoa. Do you eat eggs every day? No. I like to yeah. when I can. Sometimes I'm away from the farm. So you can see as the eggs are really coagulating well, they're coming apart from the pan. What I'm nice. actually going to do is turn off turn the off heat. Turn off the heat, yep. The eggs will continue to be cooked. Um, what we're going to do off the heat, oh, the creme take fraiche. a nice, yes. nice spoonful of creme fraiche. Yes, my yeah. god, that looks. And now we are off heat. Yep, we're yep. off heat. I might throw a little bit more heat on at the end, but these eggs are looking good. Yes, they do. Yeah, we'll kick that on really quick just to throw a little bit more heat in the pan. We're just gonna do a very simple, uh, the same same brand we used earlier, Jacobson Salt. The seasoning, salt. yes. Yep, seasoning, that's what we're gonna do. The black pepper salt. We're actually gonna do a black garlic salt. Oh. And so black garlic is pretty nice because it adds a little bit of sweetness. So this can be used as a finishing salt or okay. just seasoning right in. So I am gonna fold this right back in. And then you're going to fold again and, yep. and they will be ready to serve. They're ready to serve. All right, Spencer. Now, my favorite time. Tasting. Let's bring the eggs over here. Okay, this is what I suggest, but yep. you know, it's your decision. Absolutely. But I did make some toast. Yep. The creme fraiche at the end yeah, helps it as well. It does. There we go. All right, we're going to put that on the side. Yep. And then a little bit of that black garlic finishing salt. The yep. results of the eggs are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And what would you like to share to finish with the viewers? It really comes down to our core values. We have equal care and respect for the chickens mm -hmm. as well as uh, yourself. You're on the other side of uh, the screen here or me here with Marie. Um, those people that, that make this possible. Um, because there'd be no way for me to have as many chickens as I have um, without the people that support us. Yeah, and, and share so, to that. Absolutely. Because I, and I keep saying that, and, uh, and, and, and really, I on Sun Valley and Marie's Kitchen are mm -hmm. focusing this summer on local. Yes. Please support the farmers, yes. eat local, buy local, and to that, let's taste. Let's taste. Okay, I'm gonna have a small, and then I will finish up. There we go. Oh my. Mm. And then, if we really want to spread, we just go and put a little bit more. Are you here? It goes, Spencer. 
That's for you. Thank you. And I'm for me. And like I always say, cooking is love for me. Mm -hmm. And I thank you so very much to spend the day with us today, Spencer. And from my kitchen to yours, just sit at the table with friends and family. And until next time, au revoir. Au revoir.